we're trying to figure out something to do today. It's Saturday. We don't like sitting at home on Saturday. So we're heading toward Eatonton, Georgia. Eatonton, baby. I'm trying to get to as many places as I can in Georgia and in South Carolina before we move, baby. We move. We decided, anybody know anybody looking for a house? We decided years ago that when we are empty nesters, that we are moving to Florida. Continue straight for 30 minutes to State Route 98. We got 14 rooms, 17 bathrooms, and there's just me and her. Well, in two weeks, it'll just be me and her. Three weeks. This is my wife, by the way. We've been trying to do as much as we can in this area within driving distance before we move. And um, this was actually on my radar, so we're going to try and see if we can check it out today. I'm um, getting kind of a late start, so we'll see what happens. Okay. But I anyway, have if. On. Okay. In case I'm asking. looking for a house four bedroom three bath living room dining room den it does need some work so we're willing to negotiate on the price well so does every house but we're willing to negotiate so if you know anybody looking for a house but i mean pay, it needs to be painted carpets need to be pulled up and floors refinished but but like we said we were going to do all that so having a hard time finding somebody to do all that in our area but we do all that, and then somebody comes on and says, I don't like that color, so they're going to repaint it. Right. So, and I mean, it's if we reduce that price to let somebody do it to finish the house the way they want it, you know, I'm okay with that, you know? That actually happened to somebody we know. Yep. They redid, and then the person that bought the house came in, ripped it out, and redid it after the first person spent money to have it done so yeah everybody's taste is different right what direction are we going southeast yeah southeast and we'll see you when we get there yeah we're on a journey i expected it to be back on a side road or whatever but it's right here on the main road as you come through town established 1963 weeds are kind of high but right out here in the front bro rabbit his wit his courage and his cunning I guess this is Br'er Fox and we got rare bear right out here. He was born in 1848. It's gotten cloudy. So it feels good. Hey, there's a bike rack here. Honestly, I can't see a whole lot of people riding their bikes up here and chaining their bikes up to this, but it's kind of cute, isn't it? All right, I'm curious. It's a well over here. It almost looks like a trash can. They've got the lid, this lid on it. Eagle Scout Project, 1996. Go a little farther in. 
statue out front, the one that's in color out there, Brer Rabbit in his little red jacket. Yeah. And blue pants. He said it's been stolen and replaced. How many times did he say? At, stolen at, and found. at least a dozen times. Oh, yeah. So I can't photograph inside. So sorry about that. But I'll tell a little bit later what I see. What's that down there? Kurt was just down there. What is that? Uh, All righty, here's the sign over here. So what is this? Uh, I believe it's a pump. A pump, like for a well? And what is it doing exactly? Turning something. Yeah. Mosquito. Really going to breed mosquitoes in there. I believe this might be a new <laughs> addition since these cabins were first used. What do you think? And this is right across from the elementary school. I know nowadays they encourage a lot of walking field trips for them right across the street. The sign out front said that this is constructed from three slave cabins that they've brought together. But I don't think this is one of them. It's two stories. This, yes, it makes sense. But I wonder what this was. And uh, it's a crypt. A another crypt. Eagle Scout project. Look crazy. And what's that up there? No now we're going to head in. And like I said, I can't photograph inside. So this is where I'll leave off. But we'll talk a little bit about it later. Well, we're done. And while we were in there, Guess what happened? It rained. And it is still raining. I thought it had stopped because the sun is out. But it is it is still raining a little bit. That was very interesting. It was. I have learned a lot. We did not know that he worked for the Atlanta Constitution, right? Not yeah. Journal, or was it well, Atlanta? Wait. It was before the Journal Constitution merged. So, so we just worked for the Constitution. So the Constitution. Correct. But we'll talk a little bit more about it. You know, like I said, we couldn't take videos or pictures in there. But um, he got his start and um, the interest in the stories. He was hired to learn how to work um, a press, a um, printing, press. printing press yeah, on one of the, the on one of the local plantations. Well, it was he like was four page one, two sides of the press. Well, he was around 14 years old and so he started working there, which meant that he and was living there. living there and working there. So he started hearing these stories around the campfire when the slaves were telling the stories in the evening and he remembered them years later. And so that's when he started to put them on paper. And that's where the characters come from. Well, you probably remember them and embellish them. Right, but it's they were not. out of his mind. And it's not like he thought about them every day, is my point. But he thought about putting them on paper years later. Yeah. We're going to well, go. He, while he was working at the Constitution, he was, uh, he was spicing up stories with these stories right he would he would embellish you know stories and things like that for the newspaper with these stories and kind of combine them 
And then it got to the point where they said, uh, we're getting a lot of interest on these stories. Mm -hmm. Can you write some more stories? And he started actually making these stories part of the newspaper. The stories have been translated into a bunch of different languages. And so she was saying that when people would find these well, books why? overseas yeah. in all these other countries, they would bring them back. And they have some that are donated in here. Correct. So. But it was interesting. Uh, Walt Disney bought the rights to Rare Rabbit for $10,000. So $10. technically, the Disney company owns these stories still. Well, yeah, because they would not sell them back to the family. They wouldn't sell them back to the family. The family approached the Disney company. I don't know whether it was Walt Disney himself or the company or whatever. Yeah, Walt Disney. But right. they wanted to buy them back, and they said, nope. So they, Walt Disney still owns the rights to these. Yeah, well, she was saying that, uh, the way the movie kind of portrays Uncle Remus as... Um, <laughs> They, they were actually kind of thinking about him telling the story and the actor is actually a, you know, kind of a, a rendition of him telling the story. But then actually Uncle Remus was not one person. Right, he was a conglomerate of, of all of these people. Some people these that, that he knew, several different people that he knew that was telling these stories. Right. Around the campfire at night. Right. Now, the plantation still exists around here so we're going to get in the car and you, it doesn't offer tours and all of that but it still exists and um it's not open right so we're going to drive by it if we can find it but if, if you're ever in Edenton, um it's the uncle remus uh, museum and it's very interesting mm -hmm. and they got the outside and you took some videos of the outside right and yeah. um Turnwald is the name of the plantation. We put it into Waves, and and we can drive right by it. So we're going to do that. All right, it is very humid. It's hot in this car. Um, I'm going to put links to some of these things, some information in the description notes and everything. Turnwald, there we go. It's right here. Wee, okay. Yep. Should we drive up there? Pull right up there. Oh, there. Okay. You should have told me that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it does not. It does not face the street. The yeah, front no. door. No. The well. The front door is like diagonal. Whoa. Everybody watching. The car is going to hit us. the driveway. Oh! Here comes a car. Car right on your butt back behind us. I'm not sure this is a driveway. Well, well, here we are. And I am going to get up and go to the fence. Somebody has bought it and they've done some work on it. I mean, huge. Usually they don't even let them get this big. Okay, so the story is that he was brought here. Here's the uh, the barn that had the printing press, it looks like. I doubt those are still standing. They're right there. I'm looking at them. I don't think so. They're probably not standing. Well, I'm looking at them. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, you're right. I'm on. Whole new world. A whole new world. Are you done? The way you're pursing your lips, I think I am. Mm. All right, so from what we understand, he was brought here, and um, I'm assuming he was given a room, up, didn't she say, on the second floor? So he lived in the house. Yeah, well, and he shared the room with their son. I, okay, well, he was, he lived in the house, but he would listen, he would, um, be by the fire when the slaves were yeah, out at, in the evening yeah. and listen to their printed, stories. After he printed the paper. Right, and the printing press was actually in a barn somewhere. Right there. We're assuming right because there. we saw a mural drawn. Right there. But here it is. This is Turnwald. You can see the barn from right here. I know. So. Again. 
Joel Chandler Harris. Yeah, this was not his house. No. This was the uh, Turner house. Right, it was Turner house. So Joel Chandler Harris so it looks like lived it's in here good shape, you know? for a while. Learned how to print. The landscaping's beautiful. And learned the stories. We are done for the day. We're gonna eat. We're heading home. Because Paula wants the slushies. <laughs> Yes, I know. Paula wants the slushy. She texted us, and Kirk I said, "I said we're still gone, honey." So, anyway, we're gonna leave it right there, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.